Hi everybody and welcome to Dak Man Productions and also welcome to Conahay Rail High Rail Air Gauge Layout. This video here will be doing something a little bit different. We'll be doing a subscriber request. Uh, I had a subscriber request that I do a shelf video or show my trains on the shelves actually. Um, I won't be showing all my train shelves. I'll be showing you three of them. Uh, I want to reserve the rest of the uh, trains and train shells uh, for a future video I'm thinking about doing. Uh, but before we get started, I will say, uh, like I, I was mentioning on my last live YouTube podcast, is that there's different things that inspire me. And um, so I got some inspiration for uh, the train shells I'm about to show you. Uh, from a show called The World's Greatest Hobby. And uh, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. So there's a train show called The World's Greatest Hobby on Tour. One of my most favorite train shows because this is where you get to see the actual train manufacturers. And for an O-Gager to see Lionel and MTH and Atlas So... I mean, it's just the train show that you must go to. And they only come in town like once every three or four years. So part of the inspiration is here's an Atlas uh, display here, Atlas O and Atlas Train Company. So this is a mix of scales that they're doing here. But uh, I really like this train uh, display. And the Atlas colors are uh, like a navy blue or a bluish color. Uh, so... Uh, the Atlas uh, display does uh, inspire me for my uh, train shelf. And that Lionel uh, Orange Tower right there, that was my most favorite piece at this uh, World's Greatest Hobby. I fell in love with that Orange Tower. Absolutely loved it. So I decided to paint my shelves that same Lionel Orange color uh, based on that. And MTH, of course, the, the purple neon lights that attract you to their uh, uh, display is is one of the reasons why I painted my MTH shells that purple plum color and uh, so that was inspiring there thank you okay this is what I call my Atlas O room uh, in this room there's uh, it's all dedicated to Atlas O and as you can see I have it set up uh, with the manufacturer's actual official logo. And uh, as I was mentioning before, um, it sort of gives me the feel of being at the, a train show, um, you know, because the manufacturers are at the world's greatest hobby. So uh, it, it gives me more of a feel of being a train show without leaving my house. Uh, so with this COVID shutdown, uh, that's what I've done. I, I painted the uh, the shelves and made these logos up. So this is all dedicated to um, Atlas O. And you will find some uh, custom runs in here. Stuff like that. And once again, sorry for the glare. But this is, that's one of my favorites. Is this uh, Cure for Cancer. Uh, that was an Atlas O limited run. Uh, this is a CNJ. Cylinder Hopper, another custom run. Uh, Conahay Rail, 60 foot box car. That was uh, my design. I painted it and decaled it. Um, so I just wanted to touch off on some of the stuff that uh, I do have here. And uh, one of my favorite box cars there, the TTX. And uh, please do not ask me if anything's for sale in the comments of this video. Nothing here is for sale. I'm not selling anything. So if you see something you like or want, um, you know, please find it elsewhere because uh, I'm not selling any of this stuff. Uh, it took me forever to find a lot of these at the sort of trains. Some are Master Series, some are Train Man Series. And, and what's neat about the, the way I designed the shells, because I'm, I'm crazy like this, but... I like to display my trains 
but I don't like them getting dirty or dusty because I see many people have shelves where the trains are out of their box. I'm like, they get these people must have nothing better to do but than the dust all day with a vacuum cleaner or whatever have you or however they do it. Uh, that's not going to be me. I'm not going to be vacuuming my trains or dusting them every three months uh, from from the dust. So you'll see that I put them away in uh, the boxes because I do like displaying them, but I don't like them getting dusty either. Yeah, I'm crazy like that. But uh, one of the things I will show you is uh, this the this shelf that you're seeing here is actually an optical illusion because I'll show you why. So there you go. So yes, the the, the shelves are actually uh, too deep. So each one of these is actually two and not one. Uh, because I'm also insane about getting different road numbers of the same train car. Um, so I guess we all have our insanities that we live with, but those were two of mine. Uh, is number one, if I'm buying a road name and there's more than one road number, I gotta have um, each road number. And then when I display them, they, they uh, stay in the box. Uh, but on the other hand, there are certain trains uh, that I leave out um, all the time. I try to do that with the lower end cars. Because um, I don't care if they get dusty or not. But, um, but I just wanted to show you guys this one, my Atlas O shelf. I also have uh, one more besides this one. So we'll go on to the next one. Alright, so this is my Lionel shelf. And as you see, uh, I painted it orange. And uh, this is where I keep some of my Lionel uh, trains. Uh, I have a lot more than this. And uh, But basically this display shelf here is for the... The longer trains, like the, the scale auto racks and the 86 foot box cars and stuff like that. And uh, also I have the uh, Lionel scale 20, uh, what are we, 30,000 gallon tank cars, yes. Whew. Took me a little bit to remember, but uh, it's been a long day for me at uh, work. And uh, once again... Uh, keeping with the same theme of insanity uh, I wanted to display my trains in a way that um, you know they won't get dirty or dusty so um, this way I get to keep them in their box and I don't have to worry about uh, cleaning them and uh, just like with the world's greatest hobby uh, show once again I chose the color orange I put the line out sign up there. So this is a, another touch of the train show that I brought into my uh, kind of hay rail studios. And, and so when I look at this or I'm around this, uh, I feel as though I'm actually at the world's greatest hobby. Uh, it, it really gives me that feel to me. And uh, once again, this, this is uh, pretty much... Um, optical illusion uh, so there are certain ones that are uh, too deep well you can see it right there so I, once again I made it so it's uh it can be uh, the trains can be too deep and uh, I don't know it, it just gives me that train show feel which is where I'm right at home at is at train shows, obviously, because that's how Dakman Productions started, going to train shows and video, uh, shooting videos of them. And, uh, so all my Lionel shells will be color-coded uh, orange. And my Atlas O, obviously, was color-coded blue. Uh, let's move on to the next one. So now we have our next manufacturer, uh, MTH. Uh, trains 
And uh, I got to see uh, MTH trains uh, at the, the train shows as well. And uh, yes, you will notice uh, a long empty space on this sh shelf. And that's because I am looking for... Uh, there's certain MTH trains on my wanted list. And... Uh, those are my... Uh, coal hoppers and you'll notice that everything I own is uh, MTH Premier and that's because uh, Conahay Rail Oogage is scale only and so that's why I only buy the Premier uh, product line uh, just once again the same thing as before optical illusion because it's actually too deep So yeah, I own quite a bit of uh, coal hoppers. And uh, this is painted in a uh, plum color. Pretty close to MTH, I guess. So we'll end this video uh, with an overview of Conahay Rail. And I'll finish up a little discussion here. Uh, once again, the, the, the inspiration for the, the uh, shelf uh, designs or the, the way I made the shelves was uh, inspired by the world's greatest hobby uh, I painted them like the manufacturers uh, colors were there uh, Atlas so which I really got to meet uh, Atlas so at a world's greatest hobby show I got to meet Lionel and uh, MTH and it was great to uh, to see these three uh, manufacturers and to bring that little bit of train show into my uh, layout area uh, to me was uh, um, very helpful to dealing with the uh, train show shutdown so um, it helped me out quite a bit um, being able to uh, ha still have the feel uh, of a train show without leaving my house. And uh, once again, I, I thank everybody uh, for watching uh, Dakman Productions and also for enjoying Conahay Rail, the gauge high rail layout. And um, I guess we'll uh, catch you guys later. And... Uh, if you have any other requested videos, just put it in the comments. Thank you very much. Bye.